Today we continue with our Spring Boot Time Leap tutorial. This is tutorial 15. You are going to now see how to send data from the controller to the view. Um, when a user goes to the browser and types slash student slash get all, it displays a HTML page. So it returns the HTML page. How then do we put data in this page from controller to the view? Remember we drew a vehicle. I uh, don't know if I showed you. Yeah, I did show you. This vehicle is called a model. So the model is a vehicle that moves from controller to the view. So anything you put inside the model is actually going to be sent uh, from the controller to the view. And the view, which is HTML page, is going to extract this item and use it to do what you want to do. This is where time leap now comes into play. So time leap is responsible for extracting this data and displaying it in the right format in the HTML page. We are going to modify the get all method. We are going to add a model object as a parameter to the get all method. And then call the service to return a list of students. We've done that. Assign this list as an attribute to the model object. In this way, this list will be available in the view. I hope it's clay. I think it's clay because there is nothing difficult on this. So let's go to our controller so that we will be able to modify the get all method. So instead of just uh, serving empty page, it serves a page and also gives it something to display. So uh, let's go to SRC main Java. Let's go to shift this a bit. Controllers, okay. I'm going to student controller. So we have list of students is here. Yeah, but it's not going to anywhere for now. So get all method is going to take a model object. And what is the model of student object or the student class? So uh, what we will now do is to add this model, uh, this this student's list of object as an attribute to this model. Put it inside the model car, right? We we showed it. We use the diagram to explain it. So uh, maybe I just show you this picture again. But let's let's let me just do it. So we have model dot add attribute uh, the name of the attribute is student so when it gets to the HTML page the HTML page is going to look for uh, an object a variable called student so the data is going to be student okay. alternatively we we'll would have just put this uh, in this place so that it will just be one line so control shift O on the keyboard and that is fine. I'll, I'll just like to show you the diagram I was talking about before now. So let me see if I can get this image. Uh, is, that, is that a PowerPoint presentation? Yeah, let's see. All right, so this is it. So this model is what carries data. So put, put anything in the model as an attribute and it's going to be transferred from a controller to the view. So make no mistake about it. Take a good look at it. Try to sketch it yourself and understand what is happening. So now we've completed tutorial 15. We've placed the object in the car. And now how do we retrieve it in the HTML page? That will be tutorial 16. And we continue there.